Hey guys, this is Prash from EO.com and off late we've been talking about gaming laptops, flagship laptops, Chromebooks, but what about mid-range thin and light laptops? Well, this recently arrived, the Asus Note 5 with the Intel Evo tag. So what are the features that make this laptop interesting? What are the specs? What does the Intel Evo tag mean? Well, I'm going to talk about all of that, but let me start with my favorite aspect of the Asus Note 5, the design and the display. So this is the Acer Swift 5 in all its glory and the design here is especially interesting because Acer has used a new green color scheme with gold accents which I think looks good and there's magnesium aluminium alloy here making the Swift 5 an extremely light and portable laptop. To give you the specifics this is a laptop that just weighs 1 kg and yeah that's very lightweight and you can feel the light form factor of this laptop when you're just carrying it around. Another cool thing about the Swift 5 is that it has a silver ion antimicrobial coating all around, be it the lid, the keyboard, palm rest, etc. And it's set to reduce the microbial rate against different bacteria. Now that is something I can't really check, but I like the fact that this whole design is fingerprint resistant, and that means I don't have to clean it up every single time I'm taking it shot. That is good, but while the laptop feels and looks good, I did notice some flex here in the keyboard and the palm rest. It does not seem like a big deal, but it's something you should know. Moving on, the display is also one of the big highlights. It's a 14-inch 1080p IPS touchscreen with the 16 to 9 aspect ratio, 100% sRGB coverage, 340 nits of max brightness, which is pretty good for a laptop screen, and it's all protected by Corning Gorilla Glass. So yeah, the display specs are good, and I like how narrow the bezels are on the sides and the top. The screen-to-body ratio here is 90%, and yeah, that's cool. As for the display quality, it has really vibrant colors, good blacks, very wide viewing angles and it's also very bright and the touch too is responsive. So yeah, overall it's good. But one thing I don't like much is that the screen is very reflective and it's highly noticeable even when the display is so bright. So apart from the few quirks, the Asus Swift 5 is a top-notch laptop when it comes to design and the display. But it's the performance that matters the most and that's where the Intel Evo tag comes into play. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thinking, what does Intel Evo mean? Well, a laptop with the Intel Evo branding has a specific set of high-end features and there's no way a manufacturer can compromise on that. First up, all Intel Evo laptops will have either the 11th Gen Intel Core i7 chipset or the 11th Gen Intel Core i5 chipset with Intel Iris XT graphics and Intel Turbo Boost 2.0. Now, apart from that, all Intel Evo laptops need to instantly wake up in less than a second. They should have at least 8 GB of dual channel memory, at least 256 GB of PCIe, NVMe, SSD storage, 9 plus hours of battery life on a laptop with a full HD display. They should also have support for USB-C fast charging and they should have the latest connectivity in the form of Wi-Fi 6 and Thunderbolt 4. There's obviously a few more standards that laptops need to have to get the Intel Evo certification, but these are the points that really matter. See, when you buy an Intel Evo certified laptop, you're guaranteed to get this set of features and specs, and the Asus Swift 5 brings all of that. For example, the Asus Swift 5 comes in both Core i7 and Core i5 variants, and there's also different RAM storage configs, but the unit we have is powered by the Intel 11th Gen Core i5 1135G7 chipset, which is a quad-core processor based on the 10 nanometer architecture. It can go from 2.4 GHz to 4.2 GHz, and I like that Acer has configured the TDP to reach the max performance of the CPU. Apart from that, this is the Intel Iris XC graphics, 8 GB of LPDDR4X RAM and 512 GB of PCIe Gen 3 SSD. Now we all know that the new Core i5 chipset is fairly powerful and it makes sense for an Ultrabook. I mean, for someone like me, the performance in this laptop is just right. I mean, I've been using this laptop and the performance when it comes to day-to-day -day tasks where I open a lot of Chrome tabs, transfer files, do some photo editing, the laptop has been smooth and nice. There's no sluggishness anyway. When it comes to thermals, the bottom of the laptop does get hot after extensive usage, but I think it's normal, it's not a problem. As for the fans, they mostly remain silent, and when they did pump up, they were still pretty easy to ignore, so no problems here. Also, like that, I can just use the Function plus F combo to switch between different fan modes like this. Now, one interesting thing with Intel Evo is the laptop should have similar performance when on par, and when on battery, so I checked that. I ran Crossmark with the laptop connected to power and with the laptop on battery, and as you can see, the scores are not very different. Yes, the scores are higher on power, but it's fairly close. Apart from the performance aspect, the Asus Swift 5 has all of the other usual laptop features. 
First up, it has a backlit keyboard with keys that are crisp and offer a good feedback. I mean, the typing experience is important on Ultrabooks and the Swift 5 does well on that front. Then there's the touchpad which supports Windows gestures and it's a well-sized trackpad that's responsive. There's also the fingerprint scanner here which is fast and nice. Then there are two speakers here with DTS certification and they are not very loud but the quality is decent-ish. The webcam is a usual 720p webcam and it's not bad, not amazing, kind of in between. When it comes to battery, the Asus Swift 5 comes with a 56 watt hour battery that's rated to last up to 17 hours. Now, I'm yet to test things thoroughly, but I think realistically, it should be around 9 to 10 hours, which is still excellent. For charging, the laptop comes with Asus proprietary 65 watt AC adapter, which Acer claims can offer 4 hours of use with just a 30 minute charge. Now, do note that Asus 65 watt charger that comes in the box is the proprietary charger, so it's not a USB-C charger. But thanks to the Intel Evo certification, this laptop here does support USB-C fast charging. I mean, I checked and the Thunderbolt 4 USB-C port supports fast charging, so yeah. Anyway, when it comes to ports, there's the power port here, along with the full-size HDMI port, the USB-C Thunderbolt 4 port. And on the right, there's a Kensington slot, a couple of LED indicators, a USB-A port, and a headphone mic combo jack. Lastly, when it comes to connectivity, there's Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0 support. So that was a good look at the Asus Swift 5 and in my time with this laptop, it does look like a well-balanced solid notebook. I mean the Intel Evo certification is great and it's important because it guarantees that the laptop will have the latest Intel 11 gen processors which are fast and capable. Plus Intel Evo also guarantees a great user experience when it comes to responsiveness along with the latest connectivity options like Wi-Fi 6 and Thunderbolt 4. See, the point is, if you see the Intel Evo sticker on a laptop, you can be assured that it has the latest processor, the latest connectivity standards, and the latest features. And the Asus Swift 5 is a good example of that. Now, coming to the pricing of the laptop, the Asus Swift 5 starts at Rs. 68999 and it's available on Amazon Flipkart. So, you can check it out, but let us know in the comments what do you think of this laptop and also the whole Intel Evo platform. Comment below. Also, give this video a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.